Alright, let's clear Annihilation 12, uh, Hillock Countryside. This is the Annihilation uh, with the Mandragora as the boss, last, uh, one of the last enemy. Uh, but in the Annihilation she is uh, a bit debuffed with respect to the normal st um, story stage. She has like uh, less HP. And um, yeah, anyway, so those are the 8 operators I'm gonna use to auto deploy, um, AFK this one now. And uh, instead of Flame Tail, any Vanguard with... Uh, who can give you um, deployment points? I will use Flame Tail first skill because it's automatically bigger. Then uh, I use Chen first skill, Master 3. Another thing to mention is that uh, if your Thorns is not uh, maxed level, Master 3, literally maxed level, because my Thorns maxed level can kill Mandragora, you will need uh, any, any ground unit. Any ground unit, um, you can even use uh, faster deploys, up to you, to help uh, using the pillar to kill Mandragora. Because my Torrance max level can uh, kill her before she can start to move uh, in the center. Anyway, so immediately, Sculptor here, then uh, Vanguard here. You know, using Mirtle, you will need another operator to help block the enemies because uh, better if you have someone who can block you. Then Torrance here, face on top side. Now just wait for DP. Hey, Chen, deploy Chen when this enemy spawns from the bottom side, face on top side. If you don't have enough DP, you can deploy Torse later. So Chen first, then Torse. Remember uh, that my Chen is first skill, Master 3, huh? You can use a Chen third skill as well, but uh, Chalter, but uh, you have to time it. I'll just keep wait for deployment points. Let uh, Thorns charge the skill uh, by blocking those enemies. Later we're gonna destroy this pillar with a ranged operator. So... Um, how is it called? Uh, so enemies will not go from Thorns side anymo anymore. So Thorns will take literally zero damage later. With the skill. You can use a ground unit to destroy this pillar. To destroy then this pillar. To destroy then this pillar, but... Uh, um, yeah, it's the same. As I don't want to take extra operators, I will just use a caster to do it. So, ranged one, I will directly destroy this one. Okay, when Torsten's skill is ready, almost ready, you can deploy Golden Glow, second skill. Infinity duration, so later we'll have this uh, attack range as well. To charge the skill, and we'll be healed by Sculptor. Once the skill ready, so you can de deploy. Um, how is it called? Yeah, here face down to destroy this one. But uh, as I said before, you can even use a ground unit here to destroy this one to our bottom side. So later we'll destroy this one, then we'll destroy this one. It's the same, up to you. As you can see. The main thing is to block the rod on bottom side. So later, no enemies will um, go from here. Even the caster, enemy caster, the fire, fireball magician will not throw fireball toward Thorn, so Thorn will be totally safe. Now, elemental medic. Ele any elemental medic is fine, now, even if he's not a master, mastered. Uh, elite 1, max level, I guess I can also work. Just need someone who can heal a bit of elemental damage. Now, blades are here, face on the right side. If you want, you can retreat uh, Flame Tail uh, uh, after you deploy the yeah, of course. But uh, I will just uh, keep her on the field. So don't add extra steps. Because uh, Chen, if you use Chen third skill and you time it well, you don't need the A anymore. But uh, in that case, it's not AFK anymore. So Chen will be able to kill all the, most, uh, almost 99% of enemies from top side. But since I'm using the first skill, I need the help from another operator. In this case, Aya second skill is one of the best for AFK strategies. So I will just use that. There we go, face on top side. That's all we need. Now just AFK until the end. For me, it's literally AFK until the end. But for you, if you don't have the Thorns max level, I repeat. You will need uh, someone uh, to kill Mandragora, when Mandragora is here, using the pillar to kill uh, the turret, pushing the turret toward Mandragora. So you will help uh, Thorns, which is not max leveled, to kill Mandragora. Or you can even deploy Surtur here, 
on this tile, face on bottom side, or even circle here, face on the right side, to help kill uh, Mandragora. Oh yeah, also if your blade is not the max level like in this case, huh? uh, just add another medic, huh? for example on uh, this tile face down, huh? to heal blades when blades are facing those uh, arts as wardmen. Oh, here we go, Mandragora. Anyways, I was saying, when, because when there is only one, uh, blades can handle, but when there are two of them, as you, as you saw before, she remain with really low HP. So yeah, in that case, just to bring... Um, you still have four slots, so just bring a medic here to help heal. As you can see, she gets killed there really. Early. Um, clutch. Because Mandragora, in theory, around this uh, moment, uh, yeah, this wave, she will start to move. Oh, my Thorns uh, did a really good job. If you don't want to take extra operator, just remember to use the Seaborn to buff Thorns. Every time the Seaborn is ready, so he will also be able to kill it. That is 1600. <laughs> Almost 300 of attack buff is uh, really strong. Last enemy. And here we go. Of course, you can watch my other guide as well, but that one is with the manual trigger skill with Chen. And um, yeah, it's just uh, called the high end one instead of AFK strategy. Now, hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye.